मैडम डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन द मेन क्वेश्चन फॉर कंसिडरेशन ऑफ दिस हाउस इज वेदर द इंक्रीज इन दी पैसेंजर फेयर्स एंड इन दी फ्रेट्स दैट हैज बीन प्रपोज बाय द रेलवे मिनिस्टर शुड हैव द सपोर्ट ऑफ दिस हाउस और नॉट I have been listening with some interest to the speeches so far made and they are all unanimous on one point namely that there should be no increase particularly so far as the second class passengers are concerned what we have to decide at present is that those friends who have emphasized their opposition to this levy have also said that in view of our developing economy in view of our developing industrialization in view of the fact that there is a greater demand for passenger traffic as well as goods traffic we have to develop our railway system we have to see that we increase our lines we have also to see that we double our lines we have also to see that the production of the locomotives wagons and coaches is increased with greater rapidity otherwise we will not be able to meet the demand of the developing economy it is also agreed that according to the recommendations of the pay commission we all feel that our workers our laborers are entitled to da which will be to the tune of rupees 12 crores there are no two points about it it is also demanded that so far as amenities to the workers are concerned regarding their privileges and concessions or the repairs to the stock are concerned there is very urgent need that we should see that our workers do not strain themselves an engine driver should not be asked to do work for more than 12 hours similarly others in the railways should also have further concessions so far as leisure rest and leave are concerned it is also agreed and it has been emphatically stressed on all hands that the second class passengers are not getting amenities which they should get the greater portion of the incomes from the second class passengers and the position is that they are not getting their dues by way of rest and comfort which are necessary for them i appreciate that effort is being made that so far as sleeping accommodation and provision of fans to the second class passengers are concerned something is being done but this does not touch even the fringe of the problem and when we see the second class passengers huddled together like cattle not even having sufficient air to breathe in we feel that there is something seriously wrong with our railway administration we have also to see that the shortage that we had about the supply of wagons to the coal mines and to our steel industry is not there madam it is a strange chain of events that the minister who was in charge of steel and who gave statements in a way implying that the railways are not doing their part well 
is now saddled with that responsibility and i am sure he must feel double responsibility because he knows how the industry has suffered or was likely to suffer as the minister of steel he charged the railway ministry of not doing things which should have been done so now these are the problems that we have to meet and the question arises how to meet them i quite understand that there could be some economy affected in administration i could also understand that by tightening the administration and seeing that there is not much of ticketless travel we could improve the position i could also understand that by taking effective measures regarding the new responsibility which parliament has placed on the shoulders of the railway department namely the liability of a common carrier for goods for which they have provided rupees 2 crores and by having all these things in mind there could be some reduction in expenditure but i do not think that reduction would be of a value sufficient to meet the increasing demands of the railways that is the problem it is true that it will be hard to increase any fare it would be hard to increase any freight we do realize and we do appreciate it and as representatives of the people we do feel every day that our people are being taxed more and more as regards freight madam my own view is that so far as food articles are concerned this proposal should be modified just as there has been a modification in the case of giving encouragement for exports and in certain other respects similarly i feel that so far as food articles are concerned there proposal should be modified and on the other things these freights may continue as proposed